my god. Are you kidding me? What did you do? Did you attack the Black Maiden? No, no, I didn't attack the Black Maiden. Um, but I, uh, I killed an, or I attacked an old man a long time ago, and he's still hanging around oh. the Nexus really mad at me. He just killed me. <laughs> well, I was trying to talk to someone. That's right. Just, just make sure you, you get your blood stain before he kills you again. Yeah, I, I got it. Is there any way to, like, apologize to the old man that you've offended? Or is he just like, no. now he forever hates you? He forever hates you. That's annoying. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are hopping into the classic that is actually going offline very soon, and we'll be talking about that shortly, known as Demon Souls. Um, today I am playing with my friend here, Matt's Attack. Um, say hello, Matt. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, Demon Souls here is a game that is meant to be played online with friends and also with enemies. And uh, we're going to be going into that today as we sort of work our way through the dungeon here. Um, but another reason that Matt is playing with us today uh, is because he is kind of the resident Demon Souls expert. I have barely ever played this game, and I uh, had a really rough don't, don't experience move. yesterday trying to get going. So, uh, oh my god, there's a dragon. <laughs> you knew that was coming, didn't you? I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Stop, no, stop. Get back, get back here. <laughs> okay. So... Um, so tell us what's going to... on. What are we doing here? <laughs> so this is uh, this dragon's going to be lighting up this whole walkway on this uh, castle here. Okay. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right there. I'm okay. gonna get the dragon to do one more flame, and then you run as fast as you can <laughs> to the other side to inside that that little um, fort there. Okay, that is our plan. Yeah. Okay, so you tell me just... when to run. Just uh, hold on. Let me just see if this okay. is a safe area where I'm standing. Okay. You, you let us know. Yeah, usually there's a carriage here. So we're getting right into this, aren't we? Yeah. There's, yeah. there's no... T okay, come here. Go. Okay, run, run. Run. All right, we're running. Should okay. we loot? Should we grab this No, no, loot? no. No, <laughs> okay. don't, don't grab anything. Just, just run. Just Use run. All your... Oh, my God. All right. Roll, roll. <laughs> we did it. So Matt's going to be guiding us through the level here, as you can already tell. Uh, but did you want to uh, did you want to sort of introduce a bit of you know your experience to Demon Souls here? I mean, um, you know you're going to be walking us through this level. So like, what are we going to see today? Um, you know, I don't know. What do you want to tell people about Demon Souls here? So, Demon Souls is the first game of the series and that then they started releasing the Dark Souls series but uh, Demon's, Demon's Souls has a special place in everyone's heart that played it because they still consider it the best one ever made the best and there's one. a yeah there's a and there's a few reasons and one of the main reasons is even though it's you know the servers are shutting down the, the having the consistent server was kind of the the main thing that made it a lot of fun as opposed to the person to person. Right. So we were just talking about that before we started recording here. I've lost you by the way. Oh, there you are. Um, so the Demon Souls servers are shutting down on February 28th, which means that you'll no longer be able to play this game with friends. Um, and you said Dark Souls is peer to peer. So you're saying before the video that that basically means, oh God, okay, I'm backing up. <laughs> That basically means that, like, in Demon Souls here, they would have, like, Christmas events and Halloween events. Don't move too far. Don't See that little message there? Yeah. So this is one of the kind of the benefits is these messages are global. So because it's on a server, you can see these messages down here. And this okay. person says, it's safe here. Meaning this is the point where you should run oh, to I the next gotcha. stage. Uh, so which that kind of stuff doesn't exist in Dark Souls, which is another game that's very similar to Demon Souls by the same developers, right? It 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 does exist, but it's not as cons you know it doesn't have everyone's messages, so it's only okay. you're only connected to a select few. Okay. Um, Why is this dragon doing this? 
he doesn't like anybody. <laughs> yeah. So we're, so we're gonna have to time this as soon as you see the as soon as you see the dragon. Okay. That's we, when you start we book it. Do not attack those. Gu there's guys in the background with uh, crossbows. Do Just not attack run, them. Run past them. Yeah. Go. All right, we're running. Oh god. These corpses have got to be really charred at this point. Roll. Okay. Okay, we're good to hear. We're okay. good. All right, yeah. we can actually fight these guys. Yeah. Okay. So I had a lot of trouble last night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> again. So in order to play together, you have to get past the tutorial level. And you were kind of like walking me through the tutorial level. It took me how long? I, it was about three hours of gameplay, I think, to get through the tutorial. Um, that that seems like a lot. You get better as as the time goes on. Yeah, I mean, I was dying like crazy. Um, even even with your tips, it was pretty challenging. I thought, but yeah, like when you first played this game. Was it the same for you, or were you like yeah. more of a natural? No, I, it was death all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, it. I was. It's actually quite frustrating because, uh, you know, that's such a. It feels like such a long level, and you're every um, instinct that you have with games. Oh God! I uh, went too back far. Up. Yeah, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Uh, use some, yeah, use some of your grass there. Yeah. Let's get. Let's get out of here first. All right. Yeah, every instinct you have as a gamer, uh, you want to ignore playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what kind of instincts? That you're invincible. I gotcha. Every game that you play, you feel like you're invincible. This game, there's there's no feeling that everything is out to get you in this game. Everything can kill you in either one or two shots in this game. Right. Uh, so this is like this is like hardcore gaming right here. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, this consumed a great, great number of hours of my life. Because <laughs> when this came out in 2009, there was nothing like it. No. Nothing like it. And Because uh, now, like, the online uh, thing with, like, multiple people, you know, like, oh, oh, shit, did you just die? Yeah, I went too far. I was trying to find a safe spot. That's okay. I can, uh, ru I can run up to where you are, no problem. Okay. Yeah, you were saying nothing, nothing was like this at the time. But like nowadays, this kind of like persistent online world with like people playing and stuff is, it's a little yeah. more, a uh, little more common, right? And there's yeah, and there, and there's a lot of Dark Souls clones out there now. Right. And and actually, the most recent Dark Soul clone is Zelda Breath of the Wild, which got Game of the Year from every publication. Right. So what makes, so I haven't played Breath of the Wild, what makes it like a Dark, or a Demon Souls, or Dark Soul, Souls clone? Like what aspects of the gameplay did they sort of uh, get inspired by? So Dark Souls uh, heavily took from those classic dungeon crawlers mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, so weapon management, uh, weapons that can break, uh, inventory management. Right. And, and then Zelda did all those kind of stuff. and it, the gameplay, the the combat gameplay is the same as well. Okay, so that's, so the gameplay here it kind of has like a block mechanic. You can lock onto enemies. You can like parry and stuff too, but I'm terrible at that, so I don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot about timing. Like you wait for the enemies to be vulnerable, then you attack them back, right? Yeah, exactly. And right. the new Zelda games exactly like that. The old Zelda games, you're invincible. Right. But in this, you're not. Correct. Yeah, you're right about kind of having to forget everything you've known about games because it kind of feels like um, like when I was first playing the level, I was trying to run through and just slaughter guys and I was getting killed a lot and I really had to kind of like start to slow down. And I think I'm still not great at the hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, which is why it's lucky my guy also has a wand. So this is a crazy amount of damage, but I think I'm a lot better at the combat. Mm -hmm. It's also... It's also satisfying to kill people when when you like get the timings right and you kill a guy without even taking a single hit. It is satisfying. Touch soul sign. Summon you. Gotcha. Summoning. So the so the blood signs are people that have died in the game. Oh. And then you kind of see their apparition as they're. Oh, dying. and you see how they died. It's like this guy's last moments. Yeah. Oh, what was he fighting? Something got him in here. He was like hand to hand meleeing somebody. But there's nobody in here. <laughs> he was fighting his own demons. 
<laughs> um, so you used to play and, this with like a crew, right? Yeah, we had a few friends. Uh, I have friends that I play online, and uh, my roommate at the time he had the game as well. And uh, for the first, I'd say six months of this game's release, uh, we were living pretty unhealthy habits of working all day, then Demon Souls all night. <laughs> And we had we had to recognize that what we were doing was probably not good for our health. Right. I'll, I'll don't go too far because okay. you'll get hit. Yeah, yeah. After, I remember where you died. We're gonna we're gonna run after this. Okay. And go, you've, go, told, go, go. you've told me before. Okay, hold on. L l let's do the running first. <laughs> run. Okay, he's behind us. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's kill these fools. Oh shit! This is not good. You see soul air on this guy. Oh. Ah. No, no, I'm getting hit in the back. Ah, he's he he ate grass. He healed himself. Oh no, I died. <laughs> <laughs> you knew things would go bad. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, okay. I forgot. I forgot about how there's two of those guys there. Yeah. So this now now I'm getting now it's feeling like when I was playing last <laughs> night. <laughs> you die a lot. Of, dying in this game is supposed to be just something that happens, right? Like in normal yeah. video games, it's like you failed, but in Demon Souls, it's like a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you you will die a lot in this game. Let me try and okay. make my way back there. So w what's the benefit to being alive versus dead? Because like I'm dead. But mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like running back through the level now, trying to catch up to like where we were. Right, right. Uh, so this is the. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I just died too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll be dead together. I'm waiting at uh, like the uh, the first arc archway or whatever. Yeah. Well, I'll go back there. I was trying to run back with the dragon coat. So this is actually the main difference between Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Um, okay that a lot of people some people really hated it and that's why they changed it in dark souls but i really love it and that is so when you're dead you're half health okay unless you uh, you can use the cling cling ring to get a little Got bit it. more health <clears throat> but you're at half health and so in order to get your full health you have to be summoned to help someone beat a boss or you invade someone to kill them. Right. So and you can play the you can play the whole game at dead, but then it's harder because your your health is low and you lose one ring slot. Right. So And then when you're alive, you can get invaded. Right. And that is oh I just died again. Shit. Alright. That sucks. Where were you? Let's I go was, back to the tunnel. I was right at the beginning tunnel kind of waiting for you and there are all these guys in the shadows throwing spears at me <laughs> oh, i was I, I thought i was dodging it but it's like the odd one would hit me and it just added up <laughs> okay uh, i'll let i'll put down my oh use your ephemeral eyes to get alive again oh gotcha okay hold on let me oh god they they're really killing me here hold on let me run past all yeah. these guys right so when when uh both of us are dead we can't play together basically that's correct okay so the, the stakes are high this time. We cannot die. Hold on. Let me be full health before I even bother trying to do this thing. All right. We're, so. we're going we're gonna to go the long way this time to uh, okay. just to avoid that dragon business. Um, so when you die, there's only two ways to come back. You got to beat a boss or you got to kill another person, like a real person. You got to like yeah. seek someone out on the internet and kill them. That's correct. <laughs> and you used to have fun doing that if I, with, your, with your group of friends, if I recall correctly. The most fun we had, and this is kind of getting into the griefing category, so I don't know how you and your viewers feel about <laughs> griefing. What well, could be fun, but... depending on the circumstance? <laughs> so what we would do is uh, you can summon two friends mm -hmm. on a world. And so one of us would summon each other, and then we'd purposely wait to get invaded, and we'd go to levels where we're hotbeds for getting invaded. And then we use an item called the Scraping Spear, which destroys people's armor. Okay. And we just keep whacking with the Scraping Spear, and all their weapons and all their armor would be destroyed. Right. 
and then they would purposely jump off the cliff to avoid getting all their stuff broken because it costs a lot of souls to fix your armor. Right. So they would commit suicide, basically. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, there was some occasions where it, it was just to have sort of like a combat with people. Yeah. It, it was not nefarious in any means, but it was just, uh, you but know, sometimes know it the, was. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it was. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I have to be really careful because if I die, we can't keep playing together, correct? That's absolutely correct. Okay, so I'm I'm going to have my like healing stuff just ready all the time, and I'm going to sort of hang back in combat. I'll be you. You can show us how it's done. Well, like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so I I fully forgot about those two knights. Right. <laughs> You're supposed to be an expert here, man. You're dying uh, in front on on front of all of YouTube. Yeah, well, that's okay. They've seen it all. Yeah. Okay. We're, we'll go down in the basement. We're a tiny bit safer, but there's ravenous dogs, so... <laughs> that doesn't sound safe. There's no dragon down here. I hope not, because the quarters are pretty tight. I don't think we'd make it. Yeah. You follow behind me, and I'll, I'll make sure to get all the... Okay. Okay, so the game's called Demon Souls. Uh, do demons have souls? Yes, uh, everything has a soul. Okay. And everything has soul, and you soul in the game or in real life? What are we talking about here? Uh. Okay, so the demons have souls in this game, and you have to like eat their souls or something like that, right? It gives you points. So everything in this game is governed by souls, and souls are used for currency, for upgrading weapons, for repairing weapons, right. for getting stats. So oh, soul-based economy is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a it little bit better than Bitcoin. Oh shit! <laughs> it's a little bit <laughs> more, uh, less, less uh, unstable. Flyable. Yeah. I'm just rolling out of the way here, trying to heal. <laughs> but there's a bunch of dogs around that corner. <laughs> just FYI. Um. Oh, here's another one. Okay. We missed one. Yeah, and I think the idea is the bosses each have like this special soul. Okay. And you use those to. Uh, create special weapons okay it kind of reminds me a little bit of diablo because like in diablo there's all the stuff about the soul stones and stuff like that like that's how diablo what he's trapped in or something like that and the guy there you, definitely has like a medieval trapped. feel to the game in yeah the, the vein of diablo uh there's a guy there i don't know if he'll give oh. you anything he's a merchant ah we need hope oh, you okay. find something that suits yeah should i buy anything is there anything worth buying uh, if you're low on grass, maybe get some grass. I have tons. Yeah, so we lost our train of thought. I can't remember what we were talking about. But anyways, uh, I just want to say, so I, I did mention the the part about being alive and being dead and yeah. what that means to your game. So that leads to a great consequence. Of the, it's... Uh, more fun that way, I find, because you know, uh, you're half health, so the game's harder. And so you want to be alive to help people. And, uh, oh, I went the wrong way. You want to be alive, and, uh, but if you're alive, you can get invaded, right? So it's. It's like risk uh, reward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's very much in the, the vein of roguelikes, where when you die, you die, but it's sort of. So death has a big consequence, but here, it's not when you die, you die. You can totally keep playing, but it's there's sort of a different heavy consequence instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you start at the very beginning of the level. Sort of annoying, especially if you're near to the end. Right. So now we're getting, we're, like you and I, we're actually getting to the point where there's actually a lot of consequence to dying. Right. That kind of reminds me of like old school NES games, like... These days, I feel like when you most video games, when you die, there are checkpoints. So you just go back like mm -hmm. a little bit. But like back in the day, if you died at the very end of a level, you went back to the beginning of the level, typically. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so it's kind of it's very old school and it's like uh, in its sort of difficulty scale. Okay, so what's the backstory of uh, Demon Souls here? You said that. Uh, it's kind of a, when I asked you before, you said it's kind of complicated and you didn't know if you'd be able to do it, to explain it correctly. And it is also kind of like a joke within the Demon Souls community, the, the story. Yeah, the story doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> okay, well, it, 
you got to tell us what it is, or like your take on the story. Well, I can tell you that there is a kingdom that we're in called Volataria. Okay. And things are obviously not well, and the Nexus is the in between between um, dead and alive. Okay. That's like and, the hub world, right? That you go to. Yeah, the hub world. Okay. Yeah. And so everyone puts you on this quest to sort of um, kill all the demons and the old king, because the old king is creating this oh, this nasty is, world. He wants this to happen, the old king. I think. Okay. Um, I like I said, it's 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 fuzzy. It doesn't really explain itself too well. Um, readers are best to look it up online because the game doesn't really explain it either. Okay. There was also something about fog, wasn't there? Like in the opening cutscene of the game, they talk about fog. Oh, maybe. There's like a fog <laughs> around the country, and, and and this. What are the fog spot, spots of this game? Like there are moments where you walk up to a doorway and it says "Enter Fog." What's happening there? So th that's just to distinguish between the levels of the game. Uh, it's basically like uh, where the bosses are and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. So it's just sort of like a like a doorway, essentially. Yeah. I thought, first time I played it, I thought it was a checkpoint. But I guess that's a little naive for Demon Souls. Yeah, it's funny, when I was playing the, the newest Zelda game, I, I knew immediately where it took its uh, inspiration from. Right. <laughs> it's actually a really good game. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people. Um, I, you know, I'll probably play it eventually, but I'm sort of like five to ten years behind what everyone else is playing. <laughs> It's a cheaper way to play video games, and there's so many games <laughs> out there. I mean, like, you know, I never played Demon's Souls, so. Um, I'm glad I'm glad you got the full experience, and uh, I'm really glad you stuck with it because you you were, you were messaging me last night saying, oh, maybe I'll try this another <laughs> day, and I knew that you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that tutorial level, though, is brutal. It's brutal. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll watch it and uh, talk about it, and I can sort of show you where I was having my troubles. Um, your sign is not appearing, though, by the way, and my game's getting, like, choppy. Oh, okay. So we're having the server connection issues. We'll have to... You'll have to quit and come back in, and hopefully okay. you'll see me there. So I'm going to quit right now. Yeah, the audio glitch is something that's happened recently, and, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to fix it in-game. You have to quit and come back in. Right. And it's tied to the server issues. Right, right. And as we were saying, since they're retiring the servers, it's not like they're going to fix this. I mean, by the time this video yeah. is out, there's probably going to be like two days left in the game anyway. So, so it's really, a, it's really quite a shame that uh, people won't experience this with, uh, you know, the, the full effect. Because even with uh, with the advance that they did by changing the world tendency to black or white, it unlocked different areas in the game that you wouldn't be able to access otherwise. Right, and, that's, and it's kind of they a, do that from the server, right? Yeah, and it's it kind of a fun way for the developers to, or the publishers to get people to come back into the game because everyone would wait and get the announcement, okay, the world's white, and then everyone would jump in and, right. you know, because everyone's trying to get the platinum trophies and all that, right? Right, right. And you can only get the platinum trophy by getting certain items <laughs> in the game at certain times when the world's black or white. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the, like I was saying, that's one of my sort of pet peeves about these games that are developed uh, to have server integration is that developers don't really seem to plan mm -hmm. for what's going to happen when they one day can't support a server. And then these games end up being hobbled, you know, It'd be like going back to play Mario one, but like finding you can't play any castles because like Nintendo mm -hmm. servers are offline, you know, like it's an incomplete game at that point. It's a real shame, I think. Yeah, and I remember, I think it was probably a year ago, GameSpy shut down, and there was a ton of games being uh, powered by GameSpy servers, and all those are just dead dead in the water now. Right, which is like, I don't know, it's like a loss. It's like those games will never be experienced again. Well, you can only hope for possibly a remaster, or if it gets released to PC, because if it gets released to computer, at least people can create their own servers and kind of uh, work on the game themselves and the code. Right. And, but Dark Souls is really fun. Uh, it, the remaster is coming out pretty soon. So, okay, Dark Souls, now is that out on the Switch now? It, it'll be coming out on the Nintendo Switch as Dark Souls Remastered. Okay. If you want to play the original Dark Souls, you can either do so on PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One through their backwards compatibility 
digital version, or you can play it on PC with superior graphics. And everything. Okay, but and so I've nefarious cheating players. E even I know you've even in this video said some stuff about the differences in, between Dark Souls and Demon Souls, but I. I still don't quite 100% understand the difference. So, is there like an analogy you could give, like Dark Souls is to Mario One as Demon Souls is to Mario Two, or something like that? Yeah. So you can kind of consider um, Demon Souls Two like Mario One, and Dark Souls Two Castlevania. Okay. Or I guess or let's say Metroid, Metroidvania. Wait, which one's Metroid? Demon Souls. Uh, Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. So Dark Souls, it's one one world that you're in. Okay. And you move to different spots in that world. Whereas this, there's arch stones, which are levels. And there's different levels in the arch stone. Okay. Okay, the I The levels it. themselves are connected, but in Dark Souls, it's one big world that you have to travel in. Okay. So Dark Souls is kind of... So it's in the same way of like... Grand Theft Auto or like any open world game there's like one world that you kind of explore yeah. whereas this but, is like different levels yeah but in Dark Souls it has that kind of Metroidvania type right uh, aspect where there's save points okay so think of um, the newer Castlevania games how you're in the in the world and you find a save room and you can save there mm -hmm. Dark Souls is the same thing with bonfires okay and it's, it's one big world and once you once you beat the boss, you go back to those areas and you, yeah. So it's just a little bit different in that. And the other main difference, we talked about the consequence of being alive and dead in this yep. game. You can play Dark Souls dead at full health and not get invaded. Okay, so if you don't want to get invaded, just die early on and then just play the game yeah. as a, a spirit. As a corpse. A corpse. <laughs> yeah, you look like a corpse. By the way, the ragdoll physics on the actual corpses in this game are pretty hilarious. Pretty yeah. fun to like just kick around these like limp, <laughs> limp bodies. I know that was one of the first things I noticed when I started playing the tutorial. Okay, do you see my sign down? Uh, okay, I'm in the room. Oh, when I press select, nothing happens. We're not connected. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, the servers yeah, are going down happen. early. When the servers go down. Well, you you're still gonna be able to play this solo, or you're not. Yeah, you can play this solo. Okay. Uh, you won't be able to see the the helpful messages on the ground. <coughs> right. And you won't be able to get invaded. Uh, but there are still black phantoms in the game. Uh, some people might not like calling them black What's phantoms. What's a black I guess phantom? Red spirits. Well, um, they're the invading um, people in this game. They later been called red, red dark spirits. I think. Okay. I, I call. I always called them black phantoms. There's a black phantom edition Demon Souls that was released in the Europe countries. Okay. So that's why. I call him that, but other people would watch this and say, oh, he doesn't know anything, they're called dark spirits. Right. It's people that invade it, and there's there's AI versions in this game. Oh, okay. So you still get sort of an invasion-y experience, but it obviously won't be the exact same as having like a real person invade you. No. The, the experience of having a real person invade you is you're almost done the level, mm -hmm. and then you'll see that you're invaded, and then you have to either run to the very end and, you know, because you normally you're careful in this game not to die. So then it creates that sort of tension where it's like, okay, I'm going to get killed by this guy so I can try and run to the boss door. Right. Or you can try and fight him. But then if you fight and lose, then you die near the end of the stage and you could have all those souls in the game. And then to get your blood stain back, you have to make your way to the, to the back again. Right. So, yeah. So, so basically, real people are dicks in ways that AIs aren't. Well, you got to understand, they're not. Uh, they're not trying to be dicks. They're trying to get alive. Right. But at the cost of someone else. To... Yeah, because uh, if you if you get summoned to help someone beat the stage, mm -hmm. say if I get summoned, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna help this player get to the boss, beat the boss, and then I'll be alive again. Right. If he dies at the boss, all that was for nothing. You could spend an hour out of stage, and then. You're you're not any further, so it's just easier to invade, kill somebody. You're alive, and then you continue on your way. Right. And then you summon other people to help you <laughs> with your stage. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's it, it it sounds like a uh, a sort of like fun system for um, trolling, I guess. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the trolling comes into place with three different ways. I mentioned the one with the scraping spear where you destroy the, the person's armor and weapons. Right. The other way you can troll somebody is try and knock them down off a cliff. Okay. It's a little bit hard in this game. It's easier in Dark Souls to do it. Because uh, if someone suicides and if you invade and then suicide or jump off a cliff, you lose a soul level. Uh, and the other way is there's a there's a miracle or is it a magic item? And if you use it on a person, you have to be right up close to them. Mm -hmm. You grab them and you take one of their soul levels away. Oh, jeez. And in the later later on stages, mm -hmm. souls are very hard to. Uh, like soul levels are hard to get because you have to have you know a hundred thousand souls. Right. So losing okay. one soul level is so, a huge deal. So what we're gonna oh, do sorry. here? See those two stairs? Okay. Oh. So I just entered. <laughs> so just ignore this guy at first mm -hmm. and run past him and go up the stairs and start killing the dudes up okay. there. You go to the right. I'll go to the left. Okay. Not a problem to ignore this guy because I don't think I could take him. Yeah. Just make sure you run to the okay. right. Run and go to up the, the right. stairs. Gotcha. I'm running. Yeah, because these uh, arrow guys will kill us if we try and kill the boss. This is probably the biggest boss I've seen so far. He's not the nastiest, that's for sure. If you want to talk nasty, the Fire Lurker is the nastiest. What's he do? He kills you. Okay, uh, so for this guy we'll have to um, kill his feet. Okay. I'm, I'm killing some archers right yeah. now. Yeah, keep getting the archers. But we're gonna kill his feet eventually. Yeah. So who is this guy anyway? He's just some the, the tower demon. So, okay. Oh, I gotta heal up here. Oh my god. So we'll go down. Just keep a safe distance. Mm -hmm. And use your soul arrow and uh, target his feet. This was. I don't know if there was any game before it. In terms of, you remember uh, when collector's editions started coming out for PS3, and there was sort of uh, a, a little bit of a craze. Everyone was crazy about them. Mm -hmm. Collector's editions? Yeah, yeah, collector's editions. So Demon Souls, when it first came out, it came out as a limited edition. And not a lot of people, uh, this was a new franchise. No one's heard of it. So very few people actually pre-ordered the limited edition. Okay. And once everyone word of mouth or reading reviews online found out that this is one of the greatest games ever made uh limited editions were going for crazy amounts online and they were so hard to obtain and you had one of course <laughs> i i came i came home to my apartment after a night of drinking and my friends told me to purchase this online and i said yeah demons yeah sure i'll get this and i forgot about it right and, uh but Three weeks later, uh, a package was at my door, and I was like, Demon Souls? I don't even remember ordering this, but... Yeah, and uh, so I have a limited edition, and I don't know if From a drunken stupor. Yeah, and I don't remember <laughs> if they're still desirable or not, but... Uh, That's pretty cool. They're still hard to come by. So one of my... I'll tell you my favorite moments in, uh, in Demon Souls. Yeah, what's one of your that. favorite moments? So... My f the favorite boss, and we always leave this boss to the last because he sort of feels like the end boss in this game. Okay. There's, is he there's, any, but he's not the end boss? No, the end boss is... Uh, I don't want to spoil it on him. Okay, always. but he's not as good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this boss is crazy. So it has an amazing cutscene when you first see him. He's sort of looking out into the, into the world by this ruins. And he tosses his cloak aside, and then you're running up to him, and he can supercharge you and attack you that way. And he can also grab you and take one of your soul levels. Oh, wow. And he's a really hard boss, but he's super fun. Especially when you have a couple of your mates with you trying to kill him. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's one of the big appeals of games like this, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. getting your friends together and, like, coordinating to try and take something big down. Yeah, Dark Souls has that same uh, method where you have the big bosses and you can summon your friends to help beat them. But Demon Souls is just so much harder. Uh, the bosses are just so incredibly difficult. There's one called the Old Monk, and he's blind. And so okay. the Old Monk relies on hearing you. So if you move around, he'll attack you. Mm -hmm. 
there's also a really interesting boss. And was like a, that was like a stealth boss then. Yeah, so you have to put on like a thief ring and you have to remove your your leggings mm -hmm. so you don't clink around on the on the ground. Okay. And then it helps if you have a buddy to distract him. <laughs> As sort of like bait, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> uh, and the other one that's really cool is in level 3-3, three, three, which is the Tower of Latria, uh, it actually summons another player to be the end boss. Oh, that's cool. And it's so kind of like a you're... Streets of Rage ending. Streets of Rage? If you play that two players and you get to the very end of the game, then you yeah. have to fight each other. Oh, really? Well, you can. You can choose to fight the final boss if you want. Or one person can be like, I want to be the leader of the mm -hmm. gang, and then you have to fight each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, uh, if you're just walking around level 3-3, three, three, you could just get summoned to fight some random player. That's pretty... That's funny. Yeah. That, that's cool. It's a neat mechanic. I think the... Boom. Yes. That wasn't too bad. The demon was destroyed. So you're going to come alive again now, right? That's correct. I'm, right. going, I'm going to rate you S because you're a super player. Okay, I'll rate you as S as well. No, give me a D. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> I, I should have. You carried us, though. I would have I felt bad on the inside. Got some more grass. All right. So we beat a demon. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to you. So now uh, you would go back to the Nexus. So touch okay. that archstone. Yeah, let's hop to the Nexus here. And we'll see what level you can get to. So again, consume that soul okay. and try and update your stats with the Black Maiden. OK. Let's see, uh, see how far you can get. I'm hoping you can get up to level 20, 28. <laughs> I'm hoping. We'll see. <laughs> so with the invasion, what we're basically trying to do is see if I can get to a high enough level that you can basically come in and try and mess me up. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, what you, you can see on your screen if you're okay. playing a level normally. All right, well, if you're going to invade me, I want intelligence to outsmart you, mm -hmm. endurance to outlast you, strength to be stronger than you, and faith, because I'm going to need a lot of that to beat you. I don't use faith. Oh, I already bought some. So uh, other neat mechanic of this game is, uh, say you're playing a level and you consistently keep dying. Yeah. You will turn that level into black tendency, and it will generate harder enemies for you. What? But isn't that the opposite of what you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be better at the game. It sounds like this, like they just literally wanted to make this as hard as possible on people. And they they achieved that with great success. See, so this is the one thing I've always wondered about the game, because like, to me, I feel like I, I that might just make me want to quit the game and like be like, well, I guess I'm never going to pass it. But like, uh, it like people really were drawn to this game. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, there's uh, Dark Souls is great, but it's, for, they've unfortunately never been able to recapture that magic of this game. Right. Okay, I'm going to lay down my sign. Okay. Just near at the top there. At at the top. Yeah. So this happened before when you were kind of like walking me through the early stages of like getting ready and stuff. Did you know I'm at the top? Like, can you see my screen? Because <laughs> you keep saying things and it's like, how does he know where I am? But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm at the top. Just hang out near this like creepy old woman. Yeah, turn around and you should see my sign. Okay. I am the all seeing. Yeah, you just know exactly where I am in this game. It's kind of creepy, actually. You're um, right. Waiting to see your sign. I don't see it yet. See, I mean, I guess this is the unfortunate thing is like the servers are acting up. They're never going to fix this. And I mean, this is like one of the last times anyone can play Demon Souls this way. Um, did you know? I mean, you probably know this, but the servers were supposed to go offline in October of 2011 originally. Yeah. And then it was May 2012. Yep. And then it made it all the way to 2018, which is kind of shocking, actually, that they did bother to keep it around this long. The the fan base is uh, pretty strong to, to to bug Atlas to keep it going. Yeah, <laughs> so they try when they tried to shut it down in 2011. Was there like a big sort of outcry of fans, and that's why it kind of kept going? Yeah, and yeah. I think uh, Sony gave them a little bit of pressure too, because Sony actually owns the I, uh, IP of Demon's Souls. They don't own right. Dark Souls. 
Okay. But they own demon souls, and so Sony wants to have the perception that uh, their games can be played for a long time, right? Right. I mean, that's that's nine years. This game came out in two thousand nine, right? So. Yeah, that's correct. It's a fair. I mean, fair amount of time. Although I, I still wish that they like made their servers open source or something, so that the, the things could keep going. You know, someone could run their own server or something. You know. So the thing All we keep going. can hope for is possibly a remaster, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh yeah, and I just got a server disconnection error. So do you want to do you want to take a stab at my game time in Demon Souls in terms of hours? How how many hours you've played in Demon Souls? Uh, yes. Like I don't even know what magnitude to estimate that on. Like are we talking tens of thousands of hours here? No, uh, what do you think about it? Because like I'm working all day. Okay, maybe, you actually maybe, have a job. maybe I play like two hours a day. Two hours a day for about four or five years. Four or five. Years. It's, it, it's not. Uh, it's in. Uh, I'll tell you. It's. Uh, it's not in the thousands. Oh, it's not. Okay, I. You know what? I. I actually would not have been surprised if you'd said something crazy like ten thousand hours. Uh, okay, uh, I'll say. I'll say five hundred hours. So it's, a, it's actually only 163 hours. What? No way, that can't be right. 163 yeah. hours? Yeah. That's only like, like 48 hours is two days. Mm -hmm. That's only like six days straight. Seven days, maybe. Well, that's the that's the time it says is 163 dot dot five. I think, eight. no, I think what happened is you rolled it over. No, I, th I think the timer only goes up to nine... 1,999, you rolled that over, and so now you're on that plus 167. Oh, that could be. <laughs> 167, <laughs> it seems low. Yeah. Seems low, but... Um, so we've been trying for the past, like, 20 minutes or so, I think, trying to reconnect. Uh, we basically got disconnected there, and we were trying to get me up to the level where Mac could actually invade me, but it kind of feels like it's not happening, at least not today, so... Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see your sign. I see your sign, uh, Mad Attack. Summoning oh. Phantom. Oh, no, I just I just quit. So I have to Oh, come no. Back <laughs> wait, come back. Oh, come back. Come back. Try it again. Yeah, it's, and now, now I see another touch sign. Oh, my you God. See, you see we were else? literally about to give up. We were two seconds away. Okay, now, you're, now I'm just waiting. Yeah, I dropped my sign again. Okay, just waiting. Oh, I'm not connected. Ah, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> ah, well, a bit of false hope right at the end there. Um, I mean, I guess it's it's kind of like it's a metaphor for the end of Demon Souls here, you know, like not with a bang, but with a whimper. It's just gonna kind of go offline, and that'll be that. That'll be that, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of like when they took uh, the Halo Two servers offline. And it, the servers would continue to work for anyone who was still connected, but no one knew mm -hmm. could connect. And then people kept it going for like two months or something after that because they refused <laughs> to turn off their Xboxes. Yeah, it was actually quite uh, funny. I remember reading about that, and some some players were uh, you know putting their Xboxes on all the time, like leaving it consistently online. And some players got knocked out from you know lightning storms and all that. Right. Yeah, it, it's kind of the. The sort of like, um, I don't know what the word for it is, but like the, the stuff that exists outside the game, the like meta game that, mm -hmm. you know, is a result of the game. It's, it's interesting. Gaming culture, I guess, is what it is. Yeah, there's, a, anyway. lot of, um, there's a lot of uh, MMOs online as well. You can look up videos like Last Moments of Star Wars Galaxies. And uh, people that would saying, actually be cool to look up. People saying goodbye to their droids and all that. Uh, that yeah, that's cool. Ah, uh, it, this, it just makes me so sad that there are these games that like they go away forever and like that's that. I mean that just wasn't how that wasn't what games were like when I was a kid. I played Nintendo yeah. and like the Nintendo games I grew up with, anyone can still play, you know. Yeah, Very different. and the Asherians call. I think uh, the developers created a meteor to crash down on the world to kill everybody. <laughs> it's <was> quite funny. <laughs> oh, that's neat. <laughs> cool. All right, well, this has been a look at Demon Souls with uh, myself, Gaming Jay, here, and my friend Matt, who was a very good uh, Demon Souls Sherpa, I would say. He kind of, I don't think I would have passed that giant knight if uh, not for you. 
And I definitely would not have understood the game of Demon Souls. I, I feel like you gave us a lot of sort of insight into what the game was about and what people liked and stuff. Um, this is one of the book uh, games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And so, Matt, being a Demon Souls, you know, super fan, what do you think of that? Do you think this is a game that you must play before you die? Absolutely. And I want to mention that even though the online servers are coming down, this is still a very enjoyable game to play offline. You might not be able to have every aspect, um, you know, having other players play with you and all that, but uh, it's still enjoyable. It's still, still fun to play through. Yeah. And it's still challenging. Like, uh, there's a lot in this game that, uh, that, will, uh, that will kill you and kill you well. <laughs> so maybe people out there who are fans of Breath of the Wild but feel like they wish it was harder they can find a little gem here in mm -hmm. the form of Demon Souls. P PlayStation 3s are very easy to come by, very cheap, and so it's it's not a lot of money to invest in playing this game, and it's very rewarding. Yeah. And yeah, well, if you're a fan of Breath of the Wild, uh, definitely come check out this game. Yeah. Although cool. they're completely different. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, this game you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want like a very young kid playing. This might be a little too adult, with the blood yeah. stains and the demons. And Breath the, of the Wild and pretty much, uh, yeah, Breath of the Wild pretty much took everything good about Dark Souls and Demon Souls and and made it uh, pretty yeah. solid. So this is a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, if you want a good challenging game, this is uh, this is a good game to play. I mean, so I will say that I like I think this game is sort of outside of my wheelhouse in that I don't know if I would have the patience to to play it myself but I do kind of hope that they eventually make a remastering of this on some system or they revamp it uh, and re-release some, some of the server code or something because definitely if I had sat down and played this game by myself to make my little video here and I hadn't had you you know, playing co playing co-op seemed like a pretty, you know, it changed the game quite a bit. Like, I played the tutorial all by myself. Having someone else made a difference. And, you know, what you everything you've told me about, like, people invading you and stuff, it sounds like that was one of the core mechanics of the game. So it'd be kind of like Mario losing a fire flower, you know? Like, mm -hmm. um, there, there's something that will be lost by taking off the servers. So just as someone who really loves games, I, w I hope that this is not the absolute end of Demon Souls, and maybe one day it will be back in some way, shape, or form. Well, if uh, Sony ever decides to grace us with uh, either a remake or a re-release on PlayStation 4, uh, you can bet I'll be uh, actually <laughs> obtaining a PlayStation 4 to play. Yeah, then then we can finally play some PlayStation 4 games together, because right. I have one, you have a Xbox One, um, I believe, and a Switch. You basically got everything but the PS4, and I have nothing but the PS4. So, <laughs> yeah, Sony Sony hurt me with uh, hurt my heart with the Vita, so I I was reluctant to get a PS4. All right, well, Matt, thank you for joining us, and guys, thank you for checking out this video with us today. I'm sorry we couldn't show you even more of Demon Souls, but it's been tricky with the server issues, and of course, me not even knowing how to play, and uh, as I said. Um, spending about three hours trying to get through basic the basic tutorial, let alone uh, the actual game. So whatever you think of the game here, I hope you have enjoyed checking it out with me and Matt. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed having Matt with us. I certainly did. Um, go ahead, remember to like the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, and share your own Demon Souls memories down in the comments below. If you had some amazing times with this game, some fun times you invaded people and did some of the terrible things that Matt has admitted to doing to people today, or maybe some really amazing times where somebody hopped in and helped you. I don't know if that's in the spirit of Demon Souls, but I imagine once in a while maybe it happened. Um, or maybe playing with a friend, beating a really difficult boss. Uh, some of those bosses you were telling us about, Matt, sound pretty cool. So um, whatever yeah. your memories, feel free to share them. Um, and uh, until we meet again, guys, don't take on any demons that uh, that are going to kill you in one hit. Because, I mean, that, that was my folly. I, man, that tutorial <laughs> level. <laughs> they just decimated me really easily um but yeah is there anything else you want to say matt before we sign off here Hambasa. Hambasa. what does that mean you gotta play the game to find out <laughs> all right till next time guys Hambasa.